guys, Shane Starnes with DroidMotorX.com and I've been having the request, I've been getting it a lot lately, how to install the Google Wallet on any Android device. Um, as Verizon customers, we do not have access to Google Wallet. Verizon has decided to block that. Uh, if we go into the Play Store, we search for Wallet, we get all kinds of applications here, but none of those are Google Wallet. So in order to install Google Wallet to our Android device, we have to trick the Play Store into thinking that we're using a device that is compatible with Google Wallet. So before we get started, um, you'll want to make sure that you are on a an AOSP ROM. So if you're on TouchWiz uh, or the stock Verizon uh, ROM, you're not going to be able to do this. Be sure that you're running CM10 or AOKP or anything that's based on e either of those two ROMs. And you should be good to go. A few applications that you're going to need is the ES File Explorer and the Build Prop Editor. You can find both of those in the Play Store. I'll try to be sure to include links to those two apps in the description. And then you'll need the Market Access application uh, that's found via an XDA thread. I'll also include the link in the description for that. So before we get started, you want to make sure to make an Android backup of your ROM. Uh, you'll need to be careful once you have these settings made. If you go into ROM Manager and update your recovery, or uh, if you go into Goo Manager and update your twerp, uh, chances are it's going to download the wrong recovery and install that. If that happens, it could hard break your device, so be very careful. I would suggest not updating your recovery at all as long as you have these modifications made. Once you want to update your recovery, you can go back to your Nandroid. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and back up our build.prop. That way we can re restore it if we need to. So we'll go into ES File Explorer, click on the settings. We'll go into our root settings. Turn on Root Explorer. Go ahead and allow. And turn on Up to Root and Mount File Systems. and allow root access go back so we'll go to our favorites and go to the forward slash we're gonna to go to system we'll find our build.prop long press that copy it and we'll move that to our home so we'll click the menu and then operations and paste it there Okay, so now we have our backup build.prop. If we ever need to restore that, we can just drop that into the system folder. So we can exit the ES File Explorer now and go into build.prop editor. We need to modify three files here. So we'll find row.product.device and change this from Matoro. I'm on the Verizon Galaxy Nexus, so my device would be Toro. I need to change this to M-A-G-U-R-O. So no matter what device you're on, if you're on the S3 or the Note 2 or whatever, you'll change it to Magoro and save. Allow the super user access. It's going to ask if you want to reboot your device. And we're not going to do that now because we have two more things to change. We're going to go to Row Product Model. And we should change the name to Galaxy Nexus just like it is there. Click Save. And we're not going to reboot just yet. The last thing we want to change is Row Product Name. So this should be Yakju. Y A K J U. We'll go ahead and save that. This time we will reboot. As soon as this reboots, we'll go into the market access application and make one more change. Okay, so we'll go to custom. And the SIM numeric should be 310120. So go ahead and click done. Set this value. Next thing we'll need to do is clear out our Play Store settings, or clear out our Play Store data, that is. So we'll need to go into Apps. We'll find the Google Play Services and Clear Data and Force Stop. Then we'll go to Google Play Store, Clear Data, 
and for stop. Okay, so now we should be able to install Google Wallet from the Play Store. So it's going to ask us to log back in since we just cleared data. We'll go ahead and do that. Okay, and then we should be able to search Wallet. And there it is, Google Wallet. Now, there are easier methods per device to install this, but I got this tutorial from ZetoMax, and this works on every single Android device. So big shout-outs to ZetoMax for the tutorial and the guide. Um, I'll actually go ahead and include a link in the description to his written guide so you can follow that. But anyways, we'll go ahead and install this just so you guys can see that it works. Also, just keep in mind that your Galaxy Nexus or whatever phone you're running now looks like a Galaxy Nexus on the Sprint network. Uh, so if any application needs that information, it's going to be different and that can make something else a little wonky. So that's why it's very important to make sure you have an Android backup as well as uh, a backup for your build.prop so that you can revert your settings. Now, one other thing. Under market access, uh, if you go to settings, you can emulate on boot. That way you don't lose uh, the SIM numeric. Otherwise, if you reboot your device, you will lose that. And we can go ahead and install Google Wallet and sign in. And I'm going to enter my password. And there you have it. So anyways, guys, that is how to install the Google Wallet onto any Android device. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more coverage on the Galaxy Nexus and several other devices. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Check me out at DroidModerX.com where I have the latest in Android and tech news. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed, and I'll see you in the next one.